Hello students, once again welcome to the science classes. Last two days I was not able to take class because of some issues. But otherwise we have uh, now to continue the classes up to 30th of this month. So that what will happen is that uh, 30th or maximum first or second. That after finishing the exams again we will continue up to the uh, exams that is DCT exam. So now this is unit 5. We have un six units. Now unit 5 is there. So this unit we will have uh, only this unit 5 and unit 6 we will be having only theory. We don't have problems in this. So this these two chapters will be a little faster than the first four chapters what we have covered. Now this particular unit is modern physics uh, not very big chapter what very lengthy but only um, theory part is there and you have to attempt the questions out of this now let us go ahead now in this what is electromagnetic wave definition is there a wave propagated at the speed of light Electromagnetic wave is that wave which goes, which, which travels, which propagates with the speed of light. Uh, what is the speed of light? 3 into 10 raised to 8 meters per second or 3 lakh kilometers per second. By the periodic variation of electrical and magnetic field, that means what a electric field and magnetic field, they, they, when, the, when the wave propagates, there will be two fields, that is electrical and magnetic field. And uh, in what way they will propagate is that they are mutually perpendicular to each other. These are called electromagnetic waves. That means if, uh, if I can draw and show that, it will be good for you. So let us try it. Let us try to draw. Okay. Now suppose now if electrical field is like this and the wave is propagating like this then the magnetic field will be 90 degrees to that electrical field like this like this okay so in a way that electrical field and magnetic field will be right angle to each other. That is 90 degrees will be there. So that is what we call it as what the electromagnetic wave. Both electrical field and magnetic field will be there. And as you know that the examples of this particular electric and magnetic field is say for example, say radio waves, X-rays, gamma rays, so all the light rays, so all are called electromagnetic waves. The theory was introduced by Mr. by Scottish physicist, that is James Clark Maxwell in 1873. Here their probable question is that how they will travel. They will travel mutually perpendicular to each other, okay, and both the fields. Okay, let's go for the next one. Generation of electromagnetic waves. Who has done it? Mr. Hertz in 1888. Okay, first detected the generated electromagnetic waves. He was the first one who detected it by accelerating electric charge or moving electron. This is only a theory. The source of electromagnetic waves are accelerating charges. Not very important. Uh, these are the important things that we have to understand. Now, one by one, let us understand what is the property. Okay. Now see the, the properties of the electromagnetic waves. They are produced by accelerating. They are produced by accelerated or oscillating charge. Any charge that accelerates or oscillates, that will produce electromagnetic wave. They require no material medium to travel. Very, very important. Electromagnetic wave doesn't require any material medium to travel. They are transverse in nature. Last chapter I have told you what is transverse and what is longitudinal. The oscillation of electric and magnetic field are in the same phase. 
the phase is same they travel with same phase in every phase space these are the important things that we understand they are not deflected by electrical and magnetic field and cannot be polarized these are all actually the important things that you have to understand okay let us go for the next one electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum is the orderly classification of electromagnetic waves according to their wavelengths or frequency is called electromagnetic spectrum that means what any electromagnetic wave it's a it's you know it is something like you know band what we can say and the band will be varying from what in the in terms of its wavelength it will be varying from 10 raised to minus 14 to 10 raised to 4 and you should note one thing as the wavelength is increasing from 10 raised to minus 14 to 10 raised to 4 its frequency decreases from 10 raised to 4 to 10 raised to 22 now let us study this okay if there is a question saying that gamma rays the wavelength lies between what and what see the wavelength of gamma rays is between 10 raised to minus 14 to 10 raised to minus 11 or frequency is between 10 raised to 19 to 10 raised to 22 we have to remember this or x-ray suppose its wavelength lies between what 10 raised to minus 11 to 10 raised to minus it or its frequency 10 raised to 16 to 10 raised to 9. Likewise, visible region is very important. You have to understand. And its wavelength is approximately around 10 raised to minus 7. And uh, here it lies between 10 raised to 13 and 16. A very small over here. Now, one more question they may ask you. See, the X-ray is having uh, less wavelength than ultraviolet thing to be remembered. And you know, X-ray the wavelength in the ultraviolet kit the kadmi. Gamma rays the wavelength in the X-ray kit the kadmi. Gamma rays wavelength is less than ultraviolet rays. Or you can say gamma rays wavelength is less than visible range. Or in terms of frequency, gamma rays is higher, having higher frequency than X-rays. Length kadmi adre frequency jasti agate. Gamma rays to wavelength to X ray kinta kadmi idre other frequency X ray kinta jasti. That is very important. They have to understand. So you just go through it in a way that I have taught you. Now let us come to uses of gamma rays. I will not try to tell more of these things because there are so many things. Uses in the gamma rays. They are used in nuclear reactions, you know. They are used in the treatment of cancer. Cancer treatment, you raise use mantra. They are used to preserve food stuff for a long time in the soft gamma rays. Uh, say the container which contains of the gamma rays, they that will preserve the food. They provide useful information of the structure of atomic nucleus. Suppose uh, atomic nucleus when the uh, structure is there. What is its structure? Then study mildly, these rays are useful. They are used for detecting flaws in metal casting. You have the other cut it to you have the other cracks you do other than the delica gamma rays use more. So if just let us come back, you see, ega gamma rays uses of X-ray, uses of ultraviolet, uses of visible, uses of IR rays, uses of microwaves, uses of radio waves. And their properties in general with the properties mother, properties of electromagnetic wave in the other properties, same properties are there for all this. But uses are little different depending upon that. So we have some gamma rays there. Now, what is X-ray? You see, X-rays are produced when fast moving electrons abruptly decelerate as they collide with a metal target of high atomic number one, the metal target total, metal the plate or sheet or other million the fast electrons are the kordaga collade adaga e x rays form artha they are used to produce pictures of internal organs of a body these are uses uses of x rays now i told you gamma rays we saw use and these uses are easy need not explain to you if you read once you will understand they are used to kill dangerous cells they are used to detect flaws cracks they are used for detection of explosive of new pump and other Ultraborne goods, they are mainly used in medical field, produce fluorescence. So, which is important, you do one thing, like uh, in the uses, where, what is the difference between gamma and X-ray? 
ಹಿಂಗೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ಯು ವಿ ರೇಸ್ ಬಂತು ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇದ್ರದ್ದು ಯೂಸಸ್ ಬಂತು ಈಗ ಸೊ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಏನು ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇದಾವ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಐಡಿಯಾ ತಕ್ಕೊಂಡು ಜನ್ರಲ್ ಇರೋದನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲದ್ರಾಗಿರೋದನ್ನು ಅದೇ ಥರ ನೆನಪಿಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಯಾವುದು ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನೆನಪಿಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಮುಂದೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಹೋದರೆ ಸಾಕು ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾ ವೈಲಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಐ ಸಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಾಪ ಸಾರಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದೇರ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಹೈ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಯಾವ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾವು ಲೋ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಯಾವುದು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ರೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದೇರ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಇದು ಅಲ್ಟ್ರಾ ವಯೋಲೆಟ್ ರೇಸ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ what is the uses ultraviolet rays are used in burglar alarm circuits alarms when you see you know it is a you know uh, and the theft kind of a thing they have they will use in different uh, offices they are used for preserving food same with twali gamali they are used in detection of lost documents very very important note lost documents a lot of documents lost like there are fingerprints they are diagnosed but they are used in ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ವಿಶ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಜಮ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಓದಿ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಂಥದ್ದೇನಿಲ್ಲ ನೆನಪಿಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ನಾವು ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ರೀಸನ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ಕಾಣುವಂಥವು ಯಾವುದೋ ಇದೆ ಕೇಳ್ರಿ ವಾಯ್ಲೆಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಗೋ ಬ್ಲೂ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಯೆಲ್ಲೋ ಆರೆಂಜ್ ರೆಡ್ ಈ ರೇಂಜ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಂಥ ವೇವ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಮತ್ತು ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ರೇಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಮ್ಮ ಕಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ಕಾಣ್ತವೆ we we are able to see only those wavelengths pertaining to violet indigo blue green yellow orange red we can see that's why it is called visible light okay they are so definitely what all will be how we will we are using this visible light we all know that every day's life it is but in particular they are used in astronomy used in microscopy used for photography they are used the source of energy for living organisms so we all know then we know in no list other name what about now we can uh, we extend it first one and order the visible light uh, reflected by objects around us provides information of the world around us ಎದರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಆದರೂ ಈ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ರೆಡ್ ಲೈಟು ಒಂದು ಯಾವುದೋ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ರೆಡ್ ಕಂಡ್ರೆ ಇಫ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ರೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಕಲರ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಯು ನೋ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ರೆಡ್ ಕಲರ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಐಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಐತೆ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಶರ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಕಾಣಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಶರ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲೂ we know that you know that uh, the shirt absorbs all other wavelength colored uh, other than blue and it will leave only blue or it uh, uh, it doesn't absorb blue color and that blue color when it comes to our eyes uh, we will say the shirt is blue so that's how this visible light is useful but you expand more both once they go there expansion of the infrared rays they are used to treat muscular strains ಎಲ್ಲಾದರೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇನ್ ಆದರೆ ಮಸ್ಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇನ್ ಆದರೆ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಲೈಟ್ಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಹೈಡ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಚೆಕ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ರಾರೆಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೋಲಾರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಹೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಈಗ ನೋಡಿ ಇಂಥ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟಿಪಿಕಲ್ ಇದ್ದು ನೀವು ಅದನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾಗಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿಟ್ಟರೆ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಮೂರು ಸಲ ಓದಿದರೆ ನೆನಪಾಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ಫ್ರಾರೆಡ್ ways microwaves they are used in radar and telemetry they are used in the study of atomic and molecular structure atoms of molecular structure yeng itanta kandidili they are used in ovens for cooking purpose see microwave oven anta heltivi aa oven olag yav race irtavo andre microwaves irtavo they are used to measure the velocity of moving body is to fast of the body what is how fast it is going our velocity find out modeling we are using microwaves it is used in medical devices in general medical devices
ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಆಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಗಾಮಾ ಟು ಎಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬಂದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ಗಾಮಾ ರೇಸ್ ಇಂದ ರೇಡಿಯೋ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಆಸ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದಿ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಲೆಂತ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನಲ್ ಅದ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ನೋಡಿದ್ವಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದರ ಯೂಸಸ್ ಕೂಡ ನೋಡಿದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೇಸರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೇಸರ್ ಲೇಸರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಂಪ್ಲಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾರ ಲೇಸರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ಎ ಕೋಹರೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಮೊನೋಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಲೇಸರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಸಮ್ ಲೇಸರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ದೆ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಲರ್ ಸೆ ರೆಡ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಬ್ಲೂ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕಲರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತೈತೆ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ನೆನಪಿಟ್ಕೊಡಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಟು ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಹ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಹರಂಟ್ ಹೈಲಿ ಮೋನೋಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಬೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಲೇಸರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಆರ್ಡನರಿ ಲೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಮೊನೋಕ್ರೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕೋಹರಂಟ್ ಕೋಹರಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ ದ ಪರಾಮಿಟರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೇವ್ ಲೆನ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಇರೋಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ವೇವ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಲೇಸರ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಥ್ರೀ ದ ಥ್ರೀ ವೇಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೇಸರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಯಾವುದು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಪ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಪೋನ್ ಇಂಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಪ್ಷನ್ ಸ್ಪಾಂಟೇನಿಯಸ್ ಎಮಿಷನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ three ways through which the interaction takes place this is stimulated emission this is repeated stimulated emission induced absorption and the n order induced absorption for any atom over here you understood this is the ground state with energy e1 and this is excited state e2 atom it actually when you give when you try to uh you know uh, give a particular frequency wavelength light to make it a, a frequency light to make it to fall on the atom then the electrons they get excited from the energy level that is ground ground or lower energy level e1 to upper energy level e2 by absorbing the energy that is called induced absorption spontaneous emission and you know now this particular atom what your sun it is in the excited form that means electrons have moved to the energy 2 level there from there what will happen uh, in a very short period small period the material is given you can read it in say around 10 raise to minus 8 second again it will come back to its original say this point it will come back to what its original level so when you give a little light energy to the atom which is at energy level e1 then it absorbs the energy and get excited to e2 and from there in a very short period say around 10 days to minus 8 seconds it will come back to the original shape but when it come back it will give a light of frequency h nu of energy h nu e is equal to h nu now what is stimulated stimulated means what in this spontaneous before it comes down from e2 to e1 we are bombarding the same atom with another frequency light such a way that it will bring the atom from the excited state to the ground state emitting one more uh, okay one more ray or one more energy level over there uh, and this energy and the prior energy they together they are coherent they are same in wavelength frequency they are in the same direction so when they overlap on each other we see that laser light is formed so you can go through them when i if i get a chance of coming for the live class definitely i will do it but now for the time being you can go through it it is a very easy 
idea. Now let us go for in this particular laser, what is the term called inversion? Inversion means what? Simple sense. Inversion means in the normal temperature. In the normal temperature, what will happen? Ground level, ground level energy. There you say lot of electron. I mean, it is full. You can say lots of electrons are there, but in the upper energy e to the number of electrons are less. Okay, so the inversion. But when you give an energy to this atom, like for example. Uh, you can, if you give a light energy of a particular frequency of wavelength to make it fall on that, what will happen is it absorbs the energy at the ground level over here E1 and they get excited and this condition will come that the number of uh, electrons on the higher energy is more than the number of electrons on the low. So they got inverted from the first from the first figure to second figure, you can know, note that here ground level, ground uh, here we can say lower energy level, the electrons were full, upper energy level, the electrons are half or uh, less, but here the inversion has taken place, population inversion has taken place, so that we will call it as population inversion. One question will come, uh, when does this population inversion takes place? You should have an answer that when a proper wavelength frequency light is made to fall on that particular atom or that proper energy is given to that atom, such a way the electrons absorb that from the lower energy level and they get excited to the upper or they jump to the upper energy level. Then only population inversion takes place. Now, metastable stage is nothing but it is the stage between the ground and the upper level over here. Intermediate stage, the average time for which an atom remains in the excited stage is called mean life. Energy states having mean life more than 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. Then a category even lower. Metastable state, the energy state yesterday, more than 10 raised to minus 3 seconds is called metastable stage. Optical pumping. Optical pumping, that means what is achieving the population inversion is by the process of optical pumping. That process is called what? The process of achieving population inversion by light is called optical pumping. See, when a light of a particular energy is made to fall on the atom, the atom gets the excited from the uh, ground level or you can see the lower energy level to the and then electrons receive the lower uh, for the energy in the lower energy level and they get excited to the upper energy level. Okay, the process is achieved by making the particular wavelength of frequency light to fall on the atom. This process is called optical pumping. And the optical pumping and the on the light on particular energy do atom will build like now bus high madidra adu exactly energy. To lower energy in the higher energy hogwaga and the population inversion are okay. For laser action, population inversion must be there, and hence the stimulate emission be there. By providing energy, if an atom is made to the excited state, it say there it stays there usually for 10 days to minus 8 seconds and return back. I told you already, if any metastable state the atom stays in this metastable for longer time which is other 10 raised to minus 3 and hence the introduction of metastable helps in achieving population inversion. One sudden now on the drawing to colon. So let us understand a little bit of this because this is an important portion that we have. We have three energy levels here. Energy 1 level, energy 2. We do lower energy to three. We do metastable stage, nadu vidudu, the upper energy. Electrons when they get excited to this intermediate energy a level is formed in such a way by you know what happens in during the spontaneous they will come down on the metastable stage yeah? and then from metastable stage that is rate that 10 raised to minus 3 to 10 raised to minus 2 second from there it will come down. Now we see. So here when it gets excited the time factor 
is faster than the time factor of what it will come from the excited to the again lower energy level hence in this process what will happen population inversion takes place population inversion takes place and that's we call it is what a the laser action over there important okay let us go for principle of laser you can read that as it is consider number of atoms assembly of atoms some can that have majority one state having excited energy level h suppose we raise the majority to the metastable state level the light of frequency is incident on it then there will be more induced emission from the metastable state this situation is called principle of laser simple principle of laser and the ground level nega kadmi atoms irbeku kadmi energy level nalle kadmi electrons irbeku amele higher energy jaasti agbeku then population inversion andre 100% laser action thodutare so this is the principle of the laser ill nodre laser action ille torisi bidutare so in order for example ground level aitha illinda energy thod mele it will go to the excited level Excited in a little bit of a fast I get killer birth of our in metastable stages of the metastable stage slowly the color bundle and the way you do for a little kill of bundle you live with kill over it and I in a tomato on the electron mail over the top that's how population inversion takes place so are they you do one the electron the gate if we again cross together electrons will go on top to the excited level and then come to metastable and then they will come, come down slowly down over here so the laser action is formed so you should know that metastable stage is is playing an important role in achieving the laser action okay it is important it is 100 percent like important properties of laser laser light is highly monochromatic monochromatic and then no single color monochromatic means it is a highly monochromatic mix it is a pure single colored one single color and it is single wavelength light is that laser light has extremely high directionality it will not spread like an ordinary light but it will go straight it will not diverge anywhere laser light is specially coherent that is laser light is coherent with each other means in all the aspects they are coherent laser light is extremely intense bright and can be sharply focused okay so you should know that what uh, exactly you know just go through it and you should understand and you should a little try to keep in mind not by writing but by reading two three times types of laser you have got already then a self study mercury liquid dye laser it gas laser it semiconductor laser it amelie x-ray laser it optical pump solid state laser it so these are some important you can just go through it two three times you can remember in your mind there okay applications who will you either my name just the other thing i get very simple what the ll use one theory laser laser use for a bloodless surgery ll one kid wound i get that one operation mark without dropping a single drop of a blood you can definitely uh, do the surgery that is called bloodless surgery and uh, retina mla remove eye tumor uh, drilling and welding of the surface of the teeth teeth mail you know sunnaga drill madabakandar laser light use madare because of intense high developed heat heat developed by focusing a laser wave it is used in micro welding these days micro welding like use madatara like holes on the plate it under other light hole one like laser light use madare now these are i need not explain you all these things just go once or twice go to it you will understand but then let us see in short lasers are used in guiding missiles to desired destination they are used in see guiding missiles also they are useful they are used in cds musical system very simply it is useful you know what printers these days okay so printer is there now uh, where on laser light are used in what laser printers they are widely used to send telephonic signals so many things like that so these are so many applications they may give you three or four applications and three applications and say fourth option 
as all the above. Now nanotechnology means what? Okay, so nanotechnology is another very important portion that we have. Nanotechnology is the manipulation of matter which is atom or molecule at the super molecular state. And you know, uh, up to now it is a molecular state, but now achieving the technology in a super molecular state is called nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a study of creation of function, material, devices, and system through manipulating it to or rearranging the individual atoms so that it will be on the nanometer scale, one nanometer or 10 raised to minus nine meter. It is manufacturing at a molecular level or manipulating matter at the molecular level. Any object, anything that has been, that, that, that can be manufactured at the molecular level, we call it as that we have used nanotechnology. Okay. It has gone far, we'll see. Okay, we have seen nanotechnology. When the, what will happen when it is manipulated to nanoscale? When you take one object and then try to rearrange its atoms in such a way, it comes to nanoscale, then what will happen? Material will lose their properties, very important. Yeah, though one the material on nanoscale level again now manufacture mode, other the properties change are now. Ian of the first property. Insulator in a the conductor of the opaque substance becomes transparent. Yeah, though transparent you the low transparent of the color change of the inert material becomes catalysts. Solid turns into liquid. Very important. Very important. Nano technology is more than solid it is liquid or both. At suitable temperature, stable material turn combustible. Okay, advantages of nanotechnology now. Nanotechnology reduces cost of constructing solar panels and equipments, develop new methods of the latest technology. In it. it is a nanotechnology, it's a little costly, but then it is very, very useful in different fields. Electronic circuits will be just check, will be constructed accurately on atomic level. Okay, helps in production of nano. So nanotechnology is used to improve the capacity of batteries. Uh, nowadays, you know that, you know, battery capacity is increased by some process. This is one more process, process called what? Nanotechnology. In the space world, what's happening? Nanotechnology is used to, in fuel cells, is used, you know, see, down you see, it is used to prepare smart drugs, clear blockage surgeries, so all these things you will understand. It's not like you don't understand it. It's easy subject. Okay. Disadvantage is one more called a very important advantage one more easy. Carbon nanotubes cause irreversible process progress you like the other one operation on Bakadre. Ali carbon do nanotubes walagade hakwaga even in Madhubun and lung pool the damage marble. With development of nanotechnology, atoms, weapons are more accessible. Nanotechnology band the so atoms, weapons are easily available. Amele bala academy karsh nega na vien maar bodo atoms in atomic weapons they are maar bodo. So wherever people whatever they want to make bombs out of it, they can make easily with a very small uh, money. So that's the risk what we have by inhaling nanoparticles. There's a health risk. Health risk is there also called environmental risk is there. Very really difficult. It is very expensive. Very important one. Nanotechnology, technology candida can produce a do and a practical yak use ugly and nanotechnology in the use matter on the material but expensive. It is not affordable. High investment will cause business risk. There will be impact on economic development of the countries. Okay. And this technology brings lack of employment. Yakandre e technology in the Storm on the automatic things, so what will happen? Employment problem will increase. Communication system very important. What is communication? Communication means study of the transmission of information through a series of process from one point to another. One the point in the innondo point here, yaudadru vishaya or anything. It has to reach from one point to another point. Other communication on when we do telephone call, for example, that now matadi then a barrier kelodo that is called communication. Okay, it's the study of transmission of information. Other 
basic elements more return order transmitter channel receiver very easy transmitter and the signal transmit one of the channel to one of the moon there is your other receivers and one of the as signal in the theory to mark or the creator you will not be in the block diagram killed there block diagram nala yin and tell it will in the care first on a transmitter transmission under either part to channel under not even part to receiver under either part what is the transmitter see transmit transforms the message or information like speech picture or written message into required form transmitter or again at the now method is the required form or a convert at the required signals or a convert at the day that is called transmitter transmitter or a mathina or a good module or a amplifier okay channel in mother three channel is the medium through which the moderated wave are transmitted he didn't in a वाला मॉड्यूलर ले यूज मॉडी वेव मॉड्यूलेट आगे तो दा एम्पलीफायर ले मत है चोकड़ में मॉडी अदन ये न होर गड़े भरता दा अद अलिंदा रिसीवर ये ल मुट्ठा दा अदैट इस कॉल्ड वाटर चैनल सो चैनल इस दी मीडियम बिटवीन द ट्रांसमिटर एंड रिसीवर दैट दी मॉड्यूलेटेड वेव इट विल टेक receiver means it is again a receiver where it is a receiver's end again there will be amplifier and demodulator and a person who receives it it receives the signal over there okay now now what are a few things that we can understand out of that block diagram see the frequency means what now i have done it in wave motion same with there the number of oscillation completed in one second wavelength means the distance between the two points of the corresponding phase uh, transducer and another one the important is not transducer is the device that converts one form of energy to another electrical to mechanical mechanical to electrical okay the transducer and other one then you do use motor tv device use motor to a device get transducer on tv signal on the entry what is signal the information which is converted to electrical form in now martha did the na electrical form nearly convert model the signal on the yellow board here type signal over you want to analog signal in a digital signal what is analog signal it is a continuously varying signal which is voltage or current okay Continuously varying signal on the ERT continue ERT form mark on the other. Digital it can have only two discrete values that is one and zero. Continuously change of the level. One do high ERT at the end of the low ERT. So it is either either it will have you know signal that will have two discrete values that is one or zero something like that. Okay so two types on the character. Okay. Noise. Noise means what? The unwanted signals which cause disturbance is called noise. Music other wala chanai kirat. We listen very nicely. But noise means that a disturbance involved kind of a voice, uh, kind of a disturbance is called noise. Amplification means it is the process of raising the strength of the signal. Range on the entry. It is the largest distance between the source and destination. On the source, in on the destination. Yell start up today, yell hope today, other destination. Either again, largest uh, distance between them is called water source, is called water range. And and uh, in that range, there's sufficient strength will be there of the signal. Bandwidth it is a range of frequency over which the electrical circuit operates. Okay modulation means what what is modulation using usually the signal in communication system are low frequency signals so that cannot be transferred to large distance so in order to send signal to large distance the signal is superimposed on high frequency wave this process is called modulation okay what is modulation here so uh, modulation means it is you know uh, usually signal will be of very low frequency now this low frequency signal is come come what you what you can say is a, a low frequency signal is now changed to higher frequency and in this higher frequency by the process it can be done in three ways that is that three types of modulation is there Amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, phase modulation. And there are low frequency signal the energy. Other than amplitude modulate, frequency 
HE model group, phase HE model group. These are three types of modulations that we have. Uh, sorry, this level two, two, three is come. That is a single one. Okay. Amplitude modulation means simple A3. Amplitude and amplitude and the increase model. Frequency and the frequency and increase model. Phase and the phase and increase model. When the amplitude of the high frequency carrier is changed in accordance with the intensity of the signal, it is called amplitude model. modulation. Now, though one the way of do, now uh, amplitude change modi and the increase modi the amplitude modulation other than the frequency according to according to what the, it is given you say according with the intensity of the signal modi the frequency modulation phase the phase modulation of the earth. now demodulation of the modulate i get the na in wave na other than mate on the receivers and early Demodulate modi matte thiriga signals linda namu beka irvanta vando signal ge convert mada the demodulation ante repeater sandra note kodre are the signal boosters installed at suitable location in between transmitter and receiver satellite communication please read this very carefully the satellite and the namilar gutu satellite communication and the communication between the transmitter and the receiver on earth through a trans, through a satellite orbiting around the earth is called satellite communication the communication between the transmitter and receiver on the earth through a satellite satellite linda now conversation of the communication model other the satellite communication so the communication between the transmitter and receiver on the earth through a satellite uh, or a satellite orbiting around the earth at a height of three 36,000 km above the Earth's surface from west to east with a time period of 24 hours. Okay, so satellite normally is to the high to 36,000 km, so the speed 124 hours. Okay, time period is that one round ready to 24 hours. Okay, under Earth hanging move up with the Earth, Jyoti Jyoti ka dena beko even satellite move up so that there would be a distance over there. The communication satellite maintains a fixed position relative to each other. Important note: Earth, Namiga, Indian satellite here, Dagar, and India Bagay work mud becamera, hanging Earth move up there, hanging a satellite, the way speedily move up there. So, normally its contact with the Earth is not changed and it is there's no disturbance. That's what we see. It's also called what a geostationary, geostationary, stationary, and fixed. That means what the satellite pertaining to a particular point of the earth, it is fixed. So it will not change. That is called what a geostationary anthology. Advantage of satellite communication, you want to go to broadband communication and direct broadcast service, the environmental monitor model will be employed for establishing mobile communications. They are very easy. If you read, you will understand it. Okay, optical fibers is one more important portion in this, and that is optical fibers are thin hair strand of a highly pure glass of quartz core with the outside cladding made of glass of slightly different chemical composition having different refractive index. This type of bundle of glass threads protected with polyurethane sheet called jacket. Not really, you do optical fibers are luckily used much the optical fibers are using for the telephone lines. Uh, for the for the computer based work over there see the kenar kandra in the yolagade in core and there the other it is a made up of a glass and outside it is called cladding other male one the poly with an jacket maditare so that that brings the protection for this inner ones over there okay in the refractive index of the cladding and core will be different okay refractive index changes are that that's what he has told over here you see the uh, highly pure quartz of glass, slightly different chemical composition having different refractive indexes. And either the RI, either the RI different. It's just for the protection. Okay. Principle of optical fiber, very important, very important. They have asked for exams on what principle optical fiber works. It works on the total internal reflection. This is not there. In fact, I will tell you. Suppose one the ray water in the horagade one death on the water surface. 
ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೊಂಟಿದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಒಂದು ವೇಳೆ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ದ ರೇ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಏರ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸೇಮ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲಿ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಹಾಂ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲಿ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪುಟ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ಒಂದ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇದು ವಾಟರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಏರ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಐತಿ ಇದು ವಾಟರ್ ಐತಿ ಇದು ಏರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಲ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ರಿ ಅ ರೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫಾಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಒನ್ ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೀಡಿಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಡಿಯನ್ ದ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಅಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೇ ದ ರೇ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಓಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಅಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಆಂಗಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ವೇ ದ ರೇ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀರಾಗಿಂದ ಒಂದ ರೇ ಹೊಂಡ್ತಂದ್ರಿ ಅದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲರ್ಲಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ಆಂಗಲ್ ನಾಗ ಬಿದ್ದಿರ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ಒಂದು ಮೀಡಿಯಮ್ಗೆ ತಿರುಗಿ ಆ ರೇ ಬಂದಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ right applications you can see application of optical wire they are used for digital transmissions they are used to measure refractive okay they are used for digital transmission they are used to measure refractive indices they are used in the field of computer spectroscopy used in decorative lamps important they are used in medicine fields in in communication they are useful at telephone lines uh, useful very much useful these days okay thank you so this we have covered this chapter and it is very easy chapter readable chapter you can read now what i will do is i will cover the last unit uh, theory also electrochemistry in tomorrow day after tomorrow and i will post the questions on that because there are no there are no problems on this so we will post the questions on that you have to read this only the trick of last two chapters is read 2 3 4 times whatever material you have and then all the questionnaires whatever i give you all of them you solve when you solve all of them continuously these two chapters chemistry as well as this one will definitely clear off first four chapters are little dragging because they are having problems here this is only theory in the main here they must chand over the questionnaires nalli kelond bitidda nadra cover agidre and then continuous maadi question paper maadidre saaku then definitely you will be able to um, you know, do the studies properly god bless you i will see you next time